Let's go over what we got. Let's look at the uh, system, the templates we have made up for you. The templates we have made up, uh, if we look at it, I'm on crude oil right now. We have our standard market profile that everybody knows about. Really don't have to go over that. Uh, I'll go over it later on how we want to trade it. But uh, that's our standard market profile that we have to the left. More importantly, the new addition we have to the right is our arrows. These arrows, if you notice, have been calling the lows on crude here this morning since after midnight, and it just had a heck of a week last week. We'll go over those trades here in a second. But what it does now is the algorithm looks for deep uh, retracements only. It does not look for shallow retracements. And what does that mean to you as a trader? You're going to pot potentially get some big potential moves. A Friday for non-farm payrolls. We had some traders in a lot of different markets. NASDAQ futures, Dow minis had almost 100 tick trades. There's over 100 tick trade on crude oil. I mean, there's just a lot of really nice little moves that can happen uh, with deeper retracement. So here's some signals this morning. Let's just go over the system real quick, and I'll show you what we're dealing with. These are the trades here Friday, and here's last night that happened at Sunday night. Sunday night it called the low for that huge move. And that's at the uh, – it even works in uh, – when the, the volume's even low in a low period, that was a really huge move um, going into uh, uh, into uh, Monday morning. But if you look, Friday it called really a nice little over a hundred tick uh, move here called the low. These arrows are going to fire off. These arrows are going to fire off at swings at at major swings. So you're going to see some nice deep retracements happen on the swing patterns. They're going to avoid the, so the swing patterns will be nice deep retracements with overall trend direction. I have a real big trend filter built into these two time frames. And so you're going to be in the right direction of the trend also, uh, which is a big advantage now versus the first arrows I released. Um, I actually have two uh, trend filters that really look at the big scope of the market. So if you notice, I've got no sell signals in crude oil at all since Friday. It's been net long. Why? Because it's been screaming up from the 68. We're over $70 a barrel, which is major. Uh, we haven't broke $70 a barrel in quite some time. And so um, this is a really major resistance up here at 70. So we're going to see if it, if uh, 70, the this, this 70 area can hold or not. Uh, very, very, very big move. But if you notice. What it doesn't do, the new algorithm, it doesn't get into these smaller retracements like this, where the old algorithm did. It doesn't take these small little baby steps up. It's looking for deep retracements. So the trade we got rolling now is very profitable. If we look at it right here. Let's see how we're going to do this. This actually came in at the low. Um, well, what will happen is, is that um, you will see the arrow fire at the close of this bar. It's not lagging at all. This is very leading. So what it did is it looked at the retracement this morning and it fired right at the low of the swing when the bar closes. So what you'll do is you'll open the position up at the close of this bar or the close of the arrow. On your stop loss would be two ticks below that swing low. A lot of traders scale on the first 10 ticks. A lot of them have a lot of you guys have symmetry dots. You can do that also. Scale 50% on your first push. Your fill would be right here. So your fill was 70.45. Right now we're at 70.70. So you got $350 per one contract potential trade right now. You scale half, 50% of your position if you have six contracts, scale three. Let the other run go into symmetry dots that you guys uh, that you guys can get, and then you got another uh, uh, another um, another little position here that's working really good on crude. But you'll notice if I go all the way back, if I go all the way back, it didn't it didn't take any sell signals until all the way back here where it caught these big sells. So we've been in an uptrend. So what the algorithm has done basically is it's been catching these long side signals all the way from $67 a barrel. And that's the nice thing about this is that it can catch these nice swings for you because of my trend filter that I got built into it. Hey Kwame. Now this is a five sim Renko. Okay, so I have two time frames on here. Five sim, 30 days back. So you can go all the way back when you get the template on your own system and look at all these trades all the way back. I mean, you can go all the way back as long as you want. 
you know, 30 days back and you see the shorts. Some of these, some of these trades are just can be huge on this system because catching deep retracements is a big short that happened. But you can go all the way back uh, and, and, and take a look at these setups, you know, on catching these setups. But you can tell it doesn't trade a lot. You don't get a lot of arrows now because it's looking for that sweet spot. What I built into the algorithm, not only do I look at the previous swing, it's looking at a, a several different larger scope swings trying to catch the sweet spot in the market. And that's the beautiful thing about the algo is it works really, really, really well. And you go all the way back and you guys can look at any market you want to look at. But that's a five sim. This is a five sim Rinko. So the trade we got done is a five sim Rinko, 30 days back. So that's what's here on the far left. Right here. That's the far left one right here. That is a five sim 30 days back. Okay. Now, what do I have over here to the right of it? I have a three sim 30 days back. Let's take a look at it. Here's a three sim 30 days back. It catches some big moves also with a small time frame. Check this out. We'll go back to Friday, then we'll look at today's trade. Today's trade is in a big move right now. But look at Friday's trade right at 10.50. Check this out. This is a three sim. This is a very, very small time frame. It caught the exact swing low here, the exact swing low there. So your stops are very small because if I go back and I look at these, we'll look at the trade it's in right now too, the trade it's in now right there. If you look back, this swing low, you stop well after it closed, you'd open up at that bar. You see the trend fillers very widespread apart. Trend is definitely up on crude. Stop loss is two ticks below the swing low. You'd open it up on the first bar. Stop loss two ticks below the swing low. That trade, you're about you're a little bit better filling the three sim. You're about a 70, 42, 43 live fill. And here we go again. But the beautiful thing about a 3 sim is your stops. So we'll go back to this big trade that happened on Friday. So if you look at these trades that happened on Friday, it's a huge move. It's 11.28. Look how it come, came right down, tested my, my, my longer term uh, trend filter. And look at that move. I mean, that, that fill was just a beautiful fill. That's over a 100 tick move on the upside. And notice how it didn't catch the smaller swings. It keeps you in the trend too. Yep, sure does, Pat. So all you guys that have this on your system, you're good to go. So this is a 3SIM Rinko, 3SIM, 30 days back. It's a very small time frame, but guess what? doesn't mean you can't catch some big, giant moves. These moves are, look how it's not catching a lot of setups. Here it caught the day before. Caught a beautiful move right there also, just like it's in this big move now. You know, it doesn't catch a lot of swings. Okay, the shorts are the same way. The shorts going to work the same way as the longs. So you can go 30 days back on this, and you can see how it catches shorts and longs, both sides, both sides of the market. You're good to go. So that's a three sim. That's a three sim Rico that's beside it. Okay. So I got a five, and I'm going to do a PDF on this also, if you guys understand. I got a three sim, a five sim, and a three sim. Now, what, what do I have below that then? What do I have below that? What I have below it is market delta. Why? Market delta confirms the trade. So you can literally, even if you don't know a lot about market profile, you can just trade arrows with the trend filter with market delta below it. Why? Because the trend filter is already built in. You can see the smaller time frame and the larger time frame. The trend's been up. It's easy to see that. But once the arrow fires here at 707, so once the arrow fired, what you want to do is, is you want to wait for positive market delta. So when the arrow fires, it's the same time frame. This is a 3 sim I have, 3 sim on market delta. There it is, 3 sim, 10 days back. 287, that's a huge order imbalance that happened when that arrow closed. So when this arrow closed, if you have a green positive market delta, you have an order imbalance in the market now. So this isn't me just guessing at stuff. It isn't you guessing at stuff. This is actually order flow of the market. It's looking at all the algorithms. It's looking at all the computerized trading all the high frequency trading, all the banks, all the hedge funds, all the prop firms and saying, hey, I got a big order imbalance at a retracement, at a key retracement level where these arrows fire. Now you got yourself a high probability trade. You can literally just trade market delta with the arrows and do very, very well with the system, not knowing anything about market profile now. Why? Because I'm doing deep retracements. Market profile helps out because that's the actual order flow of the market as we saw on gold. Gold had a 
what's called, and I'll go over it this morning, a brick wall sell. And it caught that high beautifully at 13.15 and some change. And it just stopped, negative market delta, and it just got cranked. So you can trade market profile with break retest trades of these three profile levels with market delta. But you can do very well just trading the arrows with market delta. In other words, if I get an arrow, but market delta does not change the color of my arrow, then if I get a green arrow, I want market delta to close green. If I get a red arrow, I want market delta to close red. Why? Because if I don't have an order imbalance behind my deep retracements, that means that the market's not going to probably change. Okay, this algorithm is very, very, very accurate. We'll go over on a conference call, go over a lot of different markets. I'll show you a lot of different markets here too, but it doesn't matter what you trade. You know, the, like the ES this morning, it, these, low, these swings are really, really pretty in some of these markets. So, you know, well, what you can do is you look on the ES, same thing, just uh, from Friday and here's, here's last night um, and then here's this morning so far. But if you look, it's, it's avoiding the smaller retracements. It's trying to catch you in the deeper retracements. And that's a beauty part about this algorithm. You know, this thing is looking at just deep retracements, but then when we get down to these levels, you can see we're in a hard trend. It, it, you can clearly see my trend filter is a larger time frame, uh, I mean larger uh, trend filter. When we get down to these arrows, do I have a positive market builder? Do I have an order of balance that's going to say, hey, are these high-frequency traders? Are these algorithms? Because let, let's be frank about it, guys and gals. There's, the floor traders are non-existent anymore. The floor does not control these markets. It's all electronically traded. So what it does, it gives us a roadmap on where the market should turn these deeper retracements. It lets us know when this volume's coming into the market with market delta and these error retracements. It lets us know, says, hey, you know, you are actually going with the order flow of the big money all true order flow. So when you get down to these lows like this on these different markets, do I have a positive market delta to get me rolling up? All right, so that's the best way to do it. Now, before I shut this off, Gerald, let me show you. These templates are already set up. All right, what you can do is you see this little uh, red arrow right here? I mean, this uh, down by my arrow, this little box that's red. I'll show you right here too. See this little red box? That's instrument. That's an instrument link. We can link it. So when you get this template, and you all these are linked already. Draws them linked already on the template. Just change your instrument to whatever you want. Change it to whatever you want, and it will change all these automatically for you. So when you're looking at this, so when you get the template, change it to the instrument you want. These are already preset. You don't have to change any of the parameters. The parameters are preset for all the markets. They're all the same parameters. You don't have to fit a parameter to the market. These are all preset. It works on the 5 SIM. It works on the 3 SIM. It does not matter. It's all preset. Okay? It's all preset. All right? Everybody understand? There we go. I got Gerald. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. The template's already set. Market profile, 5 SIM, 3 SIM, and a 3 SIM below. Now, what you can do, if you want more trades, you can set up a third chart if you lease the program. Why? Because you can set up a smaller time frame. And the smaller, uh, smaller time frame, let me show you. You can set up a smaller time frame and actually get more additional setups. What does that mean? Let me show you here one sec. There's one more chart you can set up, which I don't show in the room. You can set up a three, another additional three sim going with the five sim settings. What, is, what am I talking about? The five sim settings, let me get it here. you can use the five sim settings and set a three sim up. Why? Let me show you. Let's say you want more trades. Here's the ES Friday with, with non-farm. That big vertical move up. Look at the buy signals. Look at the buy signals all the way up. Okay, so let's say you want more shallow retracements to look for trades in hot markets. 
you can do that. Now, I'm not showing this in the room. I only show deep retracements. I have a five sim Rinko and a three sim Rinko only showing deep retracements because they're the highest probability trades. But let's say that the market's screwing up like the ES did. They're trying to mark the market up with non-farm payrolls in the morning. Check these signals out. Look at these shorter term retracements. So what you can do, and I'll put this in the PDF. You can write it down right now. My five sim with the template and the three sim, they're already preset. The parameters are already preset. You can actually use the same parameters that are in the five sim, put it to a three sim, and get short-term retracements. I mean, the, 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 um, the, the shorter uh, link retracements. Mark the market up here. Mark the market up here. Mark the market up here. Look at this. Beautiful. You're going to get that. That's how some of our traders got that big short on NASDAQ right after the uh, non-farm payrolls and the Dow. They went down almost 90 ticks, and traders were mentioning that you caught that. They got it on the smaller time frame. Okay, so you can set up a third additional chart if you want. I don't show this in here because I'm only showing deep retracements in the room. doesn't mean there's not a trade firing off on these smaller time frames. And, and I update charts. I update you guys all week on trades like this. And I'll, Gerald can send these out. But if you want to set a, a third additional chart up, you can't. If you just want to take deep retracements that don't fire a lot of trades, you can just you can leave them on these this template over here. Right here, because you're going to get plenty of trades. Right here, these two conclude, same time, you got two trades. But you can, you do have the availability on catching a smaller time frame. All you got to do, like I said, to get more setups, use my five SIM parameters when you lease the program and put it as on an additional chart for the three SIM. I just don't have enough real estate to show you short-term retracements anymore. I only show long-term off the five and the three because those are the most powerful ones. But you do get a lot of setups with the shorter term if you want.